guys. So look, we're doing this um, bolt fit on this R35 GDR. Um, bolt fit, what bolt fit means is that we're doing this straight off the roll, straight on the car, and we do all our cutting out by hand. Or we've made some patterns um, by hand using other material before transferring the material onto the car. So there is no software, there's no CNC cut for this car. We've done this whole entire uh, vehicle by uh, bolt fit. And um, now what I wanted to demonstrate today is for anyone who's doing a bit of DIY PPF or just learning, you're going to come across um, little bits like these corners where there's this excess material and you can't, there's just too much material for the surface area and therefore you can't make it stick down, right? And normally if you had software or a vectorized pattern for this, it would already cut and relief cut this section out so you wouldn't have to hand cut it, right? Now then, we don't have the luxury of a, um, uh, a pattern for this vehicle with our SunTech True Cut system. So we've had to bolt fit it, which means that there are going to be little bit of access points that we actually have to cut ourselves by hand. Now the idea is only cut through half of the material so you don't cut the paint and then you need to tug on it. So I'm gonna demonstrate how I do that. First of all, I have my uh, tweezers. Don't judge me, yes, it's pink. And then we have our uh, razor blade, All right? It's like surgery. Then you're gonna get close up here. We're gonna pull on that. Now, the idea is we actually need to make a right angle cut right there. So that's one on that side, one on that side. But then it has to go in because we've wrapped over these edges. So then it after the right angle cut, it also has to go in a right angle in a different direction there. The first thing to do is get your excess material with your tweezers and give it a slight tug, put a little bit of pressure. Then get your knife, like so, around about 10 mil away from the edge, cutting down to that corner. Then round that corner a little bit. Using my finger, I'm gonna push this blade as I'm turning the blade to give it more of a rounder corner rather than a sharp point, which definitely looks better. And then I'm gonna go 10 mil to my left, which creates the right angle cut. Now then, we now need to grab a bit of material from the other side. And we need to pull away some of this material so therefore, I can tug on this other section and then we're going to cut through all the way to the beginning of where I started the first right angle cut. Now that's done, we're going to grab this excess which I've cut with my tweezers put my thumb there so it doesn't accidentally tear into the material that we don't want to cut and we're going to slightly tug on it now hopefully tearing the material of where I had done a cut halfway through the material and there we have it you can see it's pulling away now and now that is the last cut that we have to do is to remove this section here hold it there with the tweezers like so we're going to put a little nick, like so, to start the cut, and then we're going to cut in. And then that little piece comes off, and then now that, then we roll these edges over, so when you have a look now, it's a nice and clean, and there's no excess material hanging off or peeling back.